Hello YouTube, it is Deanne. Today is April 25th, 2019. This is a get ready with me. I did wash my face with Cetaphil soap. There is nothing else on my face and so I'm just going to go as quickly as I can and show you my basic face. And yes, my lips are still recuperating from the dryness of winter. So the first thing that I do, I did pull everything out of my restroom so everything is right here. I take um, the Bashia hydrating gel. I will list everything below. Just a tiny amount. I need to take back what I said a while ago. Well, not a while ago, a few videos ago, that when I used this all over, it broke my face out because this entire area turned red. And it still is a little red. And I know sometimes it can take skin a while to get back to its natural state. But it's been about three weeks and it has cleared up some, but it's still red. And so I'm thinking that it may not be this. And so I'm going to give it like another week or so to see if this fully clears up. And then I'll try this again all over. But it does do wonders for um, hydrating underneath my eyes, which reduces the appearance of my forever bag and my half a bag over here. And then I take the Olay Regenerous Serum. And since my skin is really dry, I'm finding I'm using about two pumps of this for my face, which usually I just use one, and it covers and smooths everything. Oh, my skin, it gets really dry. And even at its driest, this area right here and this area gets oily which is what they call combination skin. So then I take uh, my day moisturizer, the Olay Regenerous Micro Sculpting Cream with Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 30. And I use this every day that I go outside because some days I don't go outside. No, I'm not a hermit. I almost forgot to pull out the primer, okay. I woke up around 10 to take my partner's dog out for a walk and I was so out of it so she only had about a 10 minute walk this morning and now it is 12:30. I got back up at noon I'm gonna take her home today which is Maryland and then I'll be down down there for the weekend the next thing I do what do I do I am so out of it the Bashia beauty oil is this the next thing it says three drops, but because there's oil alongside of the dropper, sometimes I just do one of those, and then I'll do a small drop. And then I rub that in all over. My skin really likes this, really, really. This is just once a day use, so I use it in the morning. It's also good for um, body and hair. So with whatever is left over on my hands from rubbing this in, I kind of just do one of these. and it absorbs it quite nicely. Now my hand is actually like <laughs> dry, which is great because then we're gonna take our primer. I, I'm still trying to get a feel for the Makeup Forever, the yellow one I think is for brightening. I think. I do have the Fenty. I'm not sure I like how this smells. Um, I do have the Fenty primer as well, but I'm trying to get a feel for this one, if I like it or not. I'm sens sensitive to fragrance, but once you blend it in, it doesn't maintain that scent. But initially it's like, ooh, what is this? That's why I don't use any of the Tarte um, products. 
they have so much fragrance in their powders, their bronzers, the eyeshadows. Like, why do I want my eyeshadow to smell like chocolate or peaches? I mean, I know people love them, but people like me who are sensitive to fragrance, we can't do all that. So I, I that's, so that's completely on my never buy list. <laughs> I found that out the hard way. I'm using up the last of my sample of the Fenty in number 330. I'm not sure if I'm going to purchase this during the 20% off sale. I think I'm really a mix between the 330 and the 310. The 310 nails my undertone. The 330 comes across a little bit dark but once it's blended and once it dries down which is fairly quickly it matches but I know I would not be able to use it all year round and I don't want to buy two different foundations to get me through the year whereas the cover effects G60 I can use that all year round but I do need to definitely use a bronzer in the summer but because it nails my undertone okay that is it for this sample because it nails my undertone, I can use that all year round without any problem. This is a Sephora 78 Pro Dome Foundation brush. I was down at my partner's house um, in Maryland a while ago. We just hit our year mark last month in March. And I didn't have my foundation brush. So I'm like, oh man, I don't want to spend a lot of money for a foundation brush. We went to Sephora. This was on clearance for like 18 bucks. Normally it's like 36. So I'm like, ooh. I'm like, I'm going to get this brush. And I'm glad, I'm glad I did because it fits really nice under my eyes because of the shape. And when I got home, I did go online and, <laughs> and purchase the second one because I liked it that much. It dries overnight, even though it is a really dense brush, it dries overnight, which is really cool. Okay, so this is the Fenty 330. I keep knocking over my foundation. I'm a mix between, depending on time of year, the Sephora Bright Light, I'm sorry, Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer. When I'm more tan, and I think, let me see, I'm not even going to lie to you because I'm half asleep, I don't know. But I have number 13, which is caramel cream, and also 11.5, which is butterscotch. I'm thinking right now I might be the caramel cream. I don't know. Let's try the butterscotch because the butterscotch is light. Then I'll just go over it with the caramel cream. I realized I didn't like the Fenty 330 concealer. It had a slight brightening effect, which made me look ashy under my eyes because I do have this coloration. And I didn't want to play around with different colors in their concealer when I have something I do already like. I also do like the NARS. Um, what shade am I in the NARS? I think it's their caramel color. This is how I apply my concealer. And I can see my discoloration, which even goes through here. But if I put concealer directly here it will automatically crease and so I put it where I put it and then I just blend it upward into those areas and so we'll see if this will if this is too light and if I need to go in with the other color and yes it is looking too light so I will go over this with the caramel cream number 13 So that's what that looks like. So let's go caramel cream. So you see how it has like that grayish look or like a greenish type tone. I can see it here in the mirror. I don't know if it's translating where you guys are or not. But this is how the Fenty 330 was making it look. And it wasn't evening out my skin tone. I do not go for a flawless face because people who know me know that my skin is not flawless. They know I have bags. They know I have wrinkles. My goal is just have my skin one color, and that's what makes me happy. And so we'll see if this looks better. And if not, this is just what it's going to be for today. Anyway, so I'm taking Fern home. 
Yeah, this is better. Okay, so I am definitely a caramel right now this time of year. And because these are inexpensive, I don't mind having two. Because I know I will use them throughout the entire year. What the price is, right now I cannot tell you. <laughs> but I will list everything below. And you can go on um, Sephora.com. And you know what, I'll look up prices too. If I remember. So I don't know if you can tell the difference. I can tell the difference looking in this camera. Looking in the mirror that's over here. And so the next thing I do, powder. Yes, this is a pretty vulgar case, but no, this is not the pretty vulgar translucent powder. I emptied it out and I put in the Lancome Long Time No Shine Loose Setting and Mattifying Powder Translucent. So that's what I put in here because I liked the puff in here. And I liked that the puff fit in here. I just really like this container and I do really like this powder. So I'm like, I will keep it. The reason I decided that I really did not like, I'm sorry, I just dumped it upside down to get more powder in the lid. So I did like the Pretty Vulgar powder, but I did not like the fragrance. It was just a little too much for me. It smelled pleasant, it smelled like roses. But again, because I am sensitive to fragrance, <clears throat> I would put it on, my eyes would tear, my nose would itch, my, my nose would start to run, and then I'm blowing my nose before my foundation is done, which means, of course, the foundation around my nose was wiping off, and I was like, you know what, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to keep doing this. And so, it was actually just last night when I dumped that out and poured the Lancome powder in here. So that's the powder. So then I just go over. I don't bake. I'm 49. I am not Betty Crocker. I respect everyone that does that. And I do usually think it looks nice. I just don't. I'm very simple. So sometimes this is all I do. But today I'm going to do a little bit more. I tend to. This is the Sephora Pro. Flawless Light Powder Brush Number 50. So then as you saw, I just wipe off the excess or rub it in, buff it in, whatever you want to call it. I tend to use the same powder brush for bronzer, brush, blush, highlight, and whatever else. And so I go in reverse. I, do, I go from the lightest color to the darkest. And so I'll do highlight, then I'll do my blush, then I'll do bronzer and contour if I'm doing that. And so this is the wrong thing. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm like, what am I looking for? My Narcissus 1 to 2 palette. I will figure out the colors later because they have them um, upside down on the back. I think I'm not even going to do it. I'm going to take <laughs> this shade up here as a highlight. Dip the tip of my brush in it. I don't always even do highlight. Because if I overdo it, it, it accentuates under my eyes. Because this makes this lighter, which makes that look darker. And it's already dark under my eyes anyway. And so, I'm just using this, like, really lightly on the tip of my brush. These colors in here, uh, they're very pigmented, opaque, whatever the term is they're using these days. <laughs> so, I have to be really careful with applying <laughs> anything from in this palette on my face I like that I'm gonna try and go quicker cuz I'm noticing I'm at like 15 minutes already then I'm going to take this shade here as a blush I'm just barely dabbing it in here when I do this off camera, it takes me like 15 minutes, hmm, yeah, about the same amount of time, 15 minutes, sometimes 10, because I don't even always do highlight blush bronzer, I usually just do foundation, powder, and of course the facial products. Like, you see how, like, intense this is for me, and I'm just barely dabbing it in, so it's really easy for me to go overboard. Alright, so that's it for that. So now I'm going to take the Fenty... Bajan Gal 
bronzer. The guy in the store, he put Caramel Cutie on me. And I think he did that because of my complexion. And it was really red. It was so red that it looked like I had sunburn. And I'm like, <sighs> I didn't really like it. So I tried this one. And I do like it. I don't know yet if it's making me look ashy because this is a cool tone color if I was like deeply tanned I think I would have liked the caramel cutie and I guess I could try it again with a light hand um, so let me know what you guys think of of this as a bronzer for me and then I'm going to take the NARS Laguna and use this to contour and I'm still using the same brush and I like this brush because it's tapered so I can just get it on the tip and put it exactly where I want it which is sort of kind of but not really <laughs> how I did the highlight and so that is that the only thing left is my brows and I don't even always do my brows I do not like that this video is this long because I do not like watching long videos and here I am doing one oh, I'm sorry the Tarte Emphasize this is rich brown and it comes with the brush the spoolie which you just saw me brushing my brows over and the other end is what you dip the product into putting on your brows I'm going to dip this in. Hopefully I don't end up looking crazy because usually I'm a lot closer to the mirror than I am right now. My goal is to just have the tail look even. I don't do the fancy um, hooks and swirls. <laughs> I don't do the stencil. I don't do concealer. I am not a professional makeup artist. I'm not aspiring to be. I'm a simple person. I like the natural look. Just want things just to look even and natural. And I do get compliments on my brows from both men and women. And I'm just like, what? Like I barely did anything. But this is me. I'm just really simple this way. And so my goal is just to have my brows look even. And this side is a little further out than that side. But you know what? I'm not going to mess with it because then it's going to look crazy. As my niece told me once, she's in her 20s. She said, sometimes, Auntie, you just have to stop. Because I think I was going overboard trying to get my liner even. She said, sometimes you just have to stop. And so and that stayed in my mind. So if something looks passable and it doesn't look crazy... And just go with it and so that's what I do these days the last thing I'm gonna do I have the Lancome fix it and forget it I don't even always do this <laughs> a lot of things I'm doing today I don't always do but this is my go-to if I do feel like doing my face minus eyeshadow and so this will be my face of the day and I didn't even bring any gloss or lipstick over here so I'll just put on like a plate a plain basic um lip gloss or just a lip balm so this is my get ready with me face of the day thank you guys for watching any questions oh you know what i forgot one thing carol's daughter hair milk <laughs> i walked the dog today and got outside and my neighbor's like hey d and i'm like oh i didn't do my hair so i was like kind of trying to brush it back so i just put it on but because it's so short it's only going to do but so much anyway so i didn't i knew i didn't look crazy crazy well I am a little touched. <laughs> Let me know about this foundation if you think this 330 really suits me. If you think I should try the 310 330 mix. Because if I do, I'm only going to get it when it's on sale because I don't like having to buy two different conceal. I'm sorry, two different foundations. Let me know about the concealer. Let me know about the bronzer. Which I think is making me look a little ashy because I'm seeing it up here, but... Then I take this brush. Because I want something that is going to make me look like I have sun. And I know what I look like when I have sun. And then I'm like, do I even need a bronzer? Or do I just need, not need, because none of this is a need. I do like this highlight. And I like the blush. 
Do I just want a bronzer for in the winter when I have no tan at all? Or do I not want even bronze at all? Because I get tan pretty, pretty quick. Then I take a brush like this, brush down the sides. My next video, I'm going to show what I'm potentially going to give away. Once I hit 50 subscribers, I'm going to do a giveaway. And only subscribers will be eligible because I don't want people... And then I, I this is a new comb that I have. So I take the fluffy side, not the fluffy side, the thick, not the thick, the wide tooth side. I am still asleep. And then I just comb that back and then I take the smaller side and... Kind of just make sure the hair is going where I want it to go. And this is it. So I want people to watch because they're interested, not watch to win something. Because I remember back in the day, people would watch. And if they didn't win, they would, they would unsubscribe. They would just subscribe for the contest. And I don't want that. Watch me because you're interested in me. And if you're not interested in my videos, that's fine. The different videos I'm going to do, I will always put in the caption. Whether it's makeup, whether it's a review, or if it's... Um, a poly video or a kinky later video that way you can decide if you actually want to watch that particular one or not um the giveaways will be on the product reviews and the makeup videos unless i do have something kink related to give away but then that'll be on that but i don't i don't think i'm going to do that because that might get a little complicated because i don't want people watching videos that they have no interest in so thanks for watching I'm, i apologize this was long and you will see me in the next video bye